Core decided um, after eight years with the same team, the Atlanta Falcons, which are amazing, the owner, Arthur, we adore, um, that, you know, being with the same team, you know, he kind of looks at his life and weighs his options and decided that it's probably best that he go maybe somewhere else or explore his options nonetheless. Um, and it was really important that we stay in Atlanta having babies and pediatricians and OBGYNs. And so this was the year he said, I think I'm going to, you know, explore free agency, which he's done. Um, he's visited several teams um, throughout that time and trying to find kind of a perfect fit. Croy's very intuitive. Um, he's, he's also been in the league. This will be his ninth year. Um, and so actually Croy's supposed to be here right now, but he's actually in another city. So he got the call yesterday and left and um, he signed with the Bills, and it just wasn't a good fit, basically. Um, and he decided to kind of look elsewhere. And so that's where we're at. I get a lot of slack, like, how are you going to eat? How are you going to... I mean, it blows my mind. I've been on TV 10 years. I make my own money, number one. Number two, Croy's had four contracts with the Falcons, which has been an incredible blessing. So regardless, we'll be okay. Croy's just not ready to retire. Wherever Croy goes, we're not going to move. KJ, which is so ironic about Croy being a free agent this year, KJ started kindergarten in August, which is what we do in Georgia, and Cash started pre-K, Ariana started high school. So I have to hold the fort down until January, February, if they go to the Super Bowl. So we will support Croy in any city, anywhere that he goes. It's just not going to be a situation where we pack up, we move the whole house, and we live somewhere else until January. It'll be a situation where, hey, you're playing in North Carolina, we'll be there, you know. We'll make it work. I mean, it's a thing called life. The split rumors. Well, I, there's one stupid website that's like, from her estranged husband. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, if they're not together, they're on the phone. So that <laughs> just makes absolutely no sense. So I, I don't even feel the need to even prove it to anybody. I just feel like it's really gross that you would try to, to say anything different. You, My husband and I, by the grace of God, have an incredible marriage. And um, we're super blessed. I know we're blessed. He know. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. We were just, I even think soulmates sometimes don't even have as great of a marriage as Corey and I do. Um, but people will write anything to get people to read the nonsense. You know, it's, it's kind of gross. Like, I feel like negativity sells more than positivity. I'll tell you today and I'll tell you in 10 years that, um, I mean, Corey and I were obviously destined to be together. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm Juliana Rancic, and you're watching the Live from the Red Carpet YouTube channel. Subscribe today, then be sure to check out our other Live from the Red Carpet videos right here.